We're at my uncle's house where they're staying right now. We're going to make some breakfast. It's 7 a.m. right now. My dad, his brothers, his sisters, my grandpa, grandma, cousin. This is the first meal in Vietnam. I just wanted to go out front, like this is the house, and then out front is the little shop. And actually it's not too hot, I might roam around a little bit, there's like a little store or something. But literally like, I don't even know if you can hear me, it's kind of loud. It's the whole street, all the stuff are stores, and... Like this is also a store, but behind every store in the back is like their house. So this is the first stop I'm doing in Vietnam. Literally, I got here three hours ago and my dad convinced me to do this, so here I am. I forgot how great these were. He literally like exfoliated and massaged my face for like the last 10 minutes. All of this for like five bucks, for like 30 minutes, oh yeah. As you know, with anything barbecue, I'm on that duty, even in Vietnam. And of course, with every meat, you gotta have our wine, also brought over from California. All right, it's currently 1 p.m. afternoon. We had breakfast, I got my hair washed, on my third glass of wine. Um, but now we're having lunch. Obviously, everyone's sitting down, but let me show you what we got. It's on there, we got short ribs that are marinated. There's rice. Greens. Oh. The first dinner. With the whole family. Or not the whole family, probably like a quarter. Of course, we gotta have our tiger beer. Uh, we got the shoulders from earlier. So just finished dinner. It was great. And look at it, just like, I don't know, to me, this is beautiful. This is probably not most people's definition of beautiful, but. I absolutely love this. One thing I love about Vietnam is right now, I'm just sitting around with my cousins at a cafe and we're about to just drink some coffee or whatever, you know, on the side of the road right after dinner, 7 p.m. You know? We're just all chilling right here. We just literally walked across the street from the house to the cafe right next door. We're just gonna have some coffee with, with my grandpa as well. So these are my cousins. And then we got my grandma and grandpa crossing the street. Literally our house is right there. And then right across the street is the cafe where we're getting everything. Isn't this so nice? I could literally wake up every morning, drink a coffee, go back home, or like after dinner just come across the street. With the cousin, just taking me around. I honestly don't know where we're going. So my cousins took me to like the best, I don't know, I don't even know what to call this street. Where can I go here? Okay, okay. I can't pronounce that. I'm sorry, but you heard her. It's just a whole street of people just playing games, hanging out, chilling, eating food. Let me show you guys. Hello, people. For sure, I'm getting COVID here. Oh yeah, those are real people. Oh, those are real people. All right. First thing in the morning, first day here. We're gonna eat some breakfast, 7 a.m. Okay, there's dad. I don't know what we ordered, but it smells great here. I don't know what this is called, but you got a dry one and a wet one. Let's try it. This is 45,000 dong, which is about two dollars. Everything all together for three people for breakfast, a little over six bucks for breakfast for everyone, which is awesome. What a beautiful meal. Go back home, rest a little bit before we have some lunch, and then we're going over to my, my auntie's house in a bit. And then tonight we'll head over um, to a different city. It's so currently 9 a.m. My grandmother wants to go around, go to some shops and kind of look around. And that's what we're doing early in the morning before we have lunch. This is my grandmother, her two sons, my uncle and my dad. 
My dad obviously is the dragon fruit master. He grows it all in our backyard. What's nice is instead of having to drive, you can just walk to these streets and pick up whatever you need. You know, there's if you need some extra utensils, if you need some food, if you need some snacks, you need an extra pair of clothes. Literally across the street to this market, you can buy whatever you need. 50k, that's two dollars. Oh, just some meat, duck, chicken. What are these? Cool dog sai. These are alive. Cool crabs. Oh my god. We got crabs, live fish. What's interesting about literally all of these places of stalls is same with my aunt's and uncle's place. The house is right behind them. You know, so they just work, go back in, eat, sleep, come back out to the front, work again every single day. Stop by this real quick before we go home, get some fresh coconut juice. 15K? That's about, what is that? 65 cents, 70 cents. Currently back at my cousin's house. She's making me this little. I don't know what it is, but it's like a little bit of coconut with sticky rice. So it's like these little treats you dip it in this, I think it's like a coconut. Yeah. Here, let's try it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Usually you put like peanuts in here, but I'm allergic to peanuts so I can't have that. It's like a, I don't even know how to describe this, but it's like gelatinous. Right. It's, it's not sweet. Well, it is sweet. Look at this feast that my aunties and, and uncles and cousins prepared. Oh my goodness. On the grill too? That looks insane. Our part two after that, we got hot pot. Oh man. Oh, fest for lunch. It's only 11.30. That looks incredible. We are at Koi Melody Coffee. It's a cafe. Now the thing about Vietnam, they have some of the most beautiful and amazing cafes slash coffee shops. She saw this, it's right next, it's literally five minutes from her house. And she's like, let's go here. And I saw the pictures, it looks beautiful. So, huh? Um, oh, that. Look at the koi fish. They're feeding them. Alright, so me and Bit, we're gonna we order some drinks and some ice cream. And at nighttime, all the water is lit up. Uh, and you can feed the koi fish if you want. Just have a good drink, hanging with people. Oh my god. There's so many koi fish just all next to each other on top of each other. <laughs> Alright, next stop we're at the local mall. Oh, it's beautiful. Valentine's Day. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Oh, damn, yeah. <laughs> it's way better than America here. Here's the convenience store in the mall. Food court. That's less than two dollars. There's three stories to this. Oh, wait, no, there's four stories. Oh my god. And it just keeps going. It's so big. We're at a bookstore and immediately I found my favorite book. I'm gonna get every country I go to, I'm gonna get a different version of it. So this is the Vietnamese version and I'm gonna buy it. It was three dollars and thirty cents. Which tells me I need to go back to that store and buy some more books because that's ridiculous. <laughs> now there's an arcade, I think there's a cat cafe, there's a bunch of other stuff. We're always walking around. You know what I'm Okay. Hi, now, Debbie. Hi, Maori. Hi, Maori. So we picked our design and now it's making it for us. Hãy 
Anh chụp hình làm gì? <cười> cái nào dễ? Cái này là... Ở đó hả? À? Ở đó khó mà Hả? À. Ờ Ok, we got a Korean corn dog, but we also got these little chicken waffle things Nè, em thử cái này trước đi Cái này nè, nó biết là gì đâu Thấy không? Ừ Như vậy á Mà không thích lắm Đi <cười> giống nhau mà Yo, this mall is so huge. Jesus Christ. Here's what's weird about me. This is what I'm thinking about. Playing play uh playing hide and seek in here would be just so much fun, I bet. We're going to my uncle's house now. We're on this uh bus and it's gonna take us about five-ish hours to get there. But this is a laying down bus and my my dad's never been in one of these and he's like so fascinated. Here, let me get a better angle. There's people all the way and upstairs laying down. That's my uncle. But my dad has never been in one of these. <laughs> you should lay down. I got I got the window seat so I can see people passing by, but it's five hours. I just sit back. There's something right here. Just chill. Alright. We arrived here around I don't know what AM. I was too tired to record, but we are now at my uncle's house. Your way. And has a completely different vibe. Let me show you the backyard, for instance. This is the house, that's the room I was staying in, kitchen, and then the backyard. Oh man. I'm gonna take a shower real quick before I head over probably for some coffee. Uh, it's 6 a.m. right now. Good morning, got my in and out shirt on. And this is the outside hustle bustle. They own a little cafe over there, so I'm gonna walk the street over there and see what's up. Right across the street, underneath this bridge right here. Hella people setting up stores, fruits, vegetables, knickknacks. And our house is literally right there, right across the street, that white building right there. So my dad was telling me that <coughs> This whole section here where this bridge was, was owned by our grandma. But we sold it it's too, way too early on and the government took over and built this connecting for everybody. But if we'd kept it, this whole land would have been worth way, way, way much more money. Okay, all the way down. And when they built a bridge, they took it over. Mm -hmm. We lost everything here. Now we got big transit house. I'll see you back there, but as with every morning, 7 a.m., you gotta have Vietnamese coffee, a.k.a. Cafe Soda. Let me take Hawaii. Oh, beautiful. She's making us a couple of mees right now. Huh? Oh. So she's my... The little sister of my grandma. So right next door to the Bun Me is also another one of my uh, grandmother's siblings. She has a lot of siblings and they also own this place right here. Elephant. <laughs> Oh, he's holding on to my arm. He's telling me I have to come over to this house. Oh, yeah. It's 7 a.m. But Loki, I think he's drunk at 7 a.m. Because... I think this is like a hair salon place he took me to. Yeah? He's holding on to me. I don't know why we went in there. I think I was supposed to meet someone, but there was no one in there. So apparently we're going down the street. Walking down here, hella busy. I don't know where I'm, where he's leading me to, <laughs> but you just gotta go with the flow. So he's taking me to this house because there's a girl here he wanted me to, he wanted to introduce me to, and he promised them that I would apparently say hi or something like that. It's locked. I don't think there's anyone home. She's in college, so I think she's not even home, but. 
this is what I have to deal with. Look at him smiling. He has no idea what I'm talking about right now. I don't know what they're making me, but I've just been told to take it, eat it, drink it, whatever it is. So that's what I'm doing. I have no idea where my, my dad are. I have no idea where my uncles are. I'm just hanging out with the old man today. I didn't catch it on camera, but he said, look now. Uncle's high side, meaning anytime throughout the day, he's a little bit drunk and he's definitely drunk right now. I think it's like 7.30 a.m. right now. Always smiling though. So I'm sitting with these random people that I have no idea. They're not related to us at all, but apparently he knows everyone. Yeah, come on. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. In awkward situations like this, you just smile, nod, say yes, or say yeah, and just move on. They're apparently talking about like, oh, I got a handful of girls already. I want to introduce you to all of them. We got more family members to meet, so we're just driving around the city where my dad is from. Let me show you all the view. Look how peaceful it is. At another house. Another, uh, Uncle? I don't know. <laughs> I have literally no idea who most of these people are. Beautiful, look at it outside, the rice patties. That's gorgeous, look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Now I know a lot of people like the city, but this is definitely more my style. Just relax, waking up, farming. I was talking to my uncle right here and he said that grandma, her side, she has 10 siblings or nine siblings, a lot. So we're going to meet all of the, the alms and baths. This is uh, Nhi, have you seen in the other vlog, July vlog? This is her grandma, uh, Gomi's mom. Super cool, we ran into her here. She might have been in a like June or July vlog, or August maybe when I was in Arkansas, you might have seen her. I don't know if she was there actually. Roosters, chicken. I think they want to fish, catch a couple fish for lunch a little bit later. Maybe one or two. We're looking for some fishing rods. Oh, well, that's not a rod, that's a string. Oh my. How huge that is. It's a matter of two minutes. The expert catches one right away. Oh, right in the backyard. Just like that. That's easy. How sad looking. Look at here. So good. Try one more time. One more. Moments later.
Ya no es. Like the flavor is so good. Oh my god. That's probably the oil of death I've had. It's so good. Let's try this. So after the squid, we got the second dish coming up. It's a little hot pot where we put the tripe in and some noodles. And then after that, we're going with this. I know it doesn't look great, but this is one of the best things I've tasted. It is so freaking good. This is the third beer. And I was, you know, about one and a half more, and I'm definitely gonna feel it. I'm a little bit tipsy right now. We got some noodles. And this uh, beef oxtail broth. It is amazing, I'll tell you guys. Oh, Friday, February 3rd, 4 p.m. after the little getaway or the little party, I should say. And tomorrow we're gonna head over to uh, this like tropical island it's called Fu Wook, um, where a lot of tourists go, but I do wanna show y'all something real quick. So this is just a road, that's the home right there. And they own these rice patties. Look how beautiful that is. That is just absolutely gorgeous. So this is how the night ends, as you can see, karaoke sucks that I'm only staying here for one night though, or one day. Uh, I wish I could have stayed longer. I probably will come back, who knows. about to catch the boat to Fulwook, an island. It's about two and a half-ish hours out. <laughs> got my tickets, got my luggage. We're with the three cousins and my dad. So we're roaming the streets, we're trying to find a specific restaurant. one of the specialties here. You would like make your own sauce or something like that. So I think this is sugar. And then you mix in the pepper and then you cut your own limes. Okay. Across the street. I don't know what this is but it looks great. Alright so the food came out. We also got Mikamiya, which is basically just sugar cane juice. It's great on a hot day. the night but tomorrow since we're only staying here for two days i've actually booked a five-star hotel resort for us none of them really know it yet i think only my dad and, and my other cousin knows but these two don't know yet so we're probably gonna surprise them with that 
It was really hot in the morning, but right now it's cooling down. It feels amazing, especially on this motorbike with the wind blowing. Whew. Oh, look at this. After that, we're stopping by this place. I think it's a rice place. It says gum. Gum yi. Hi yi. Gum new. Gum new. From 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 not Hanoi. From Hanoi, which is the north part of Vietnam. So we had a great meal. Now we're just gonna. We didn't get too full because we want to eat some more at the night market, walk around, get skewers, street food, all that. So I'm actually really looking forward to that. Right now, but so far, the first night full cool has been amazing. This is the night market, Joe Damn Pool. So the night market is well and alive right now.